Hey everybody, it's Mr. Byers. So I want to show you some basics on using the V-scope since some folks are having some issues. Um, even when you click through the using the V-scope option, some people didn't actually go to the V-scope. So let me just walk through on how to use it because it, it can be a little frustrating. So when you log into your lessons over here, you can click on the HOL hands-on lab virtual microscope. So here it pulls up, it pulls up the V-scope. If you click on microscope controls, it sort of shows you all the names of everything. What we'll be adjusting will be this, the lenses, the objective lenses, as well as the coarse and fine focus, the stage adjustment knob, and the illuminator. So what I've learned is the V-scope is extremely picky. It has steps for you to follow down here depending on what you are using, and it tries to get you familiar with an actual microscope. So just like we would have in the classroom, we have to turn it on. I use both my mouse and the arrow keys on my keyboard. So we turn it on. So now that the microscope is on, it says, turn on the illuminator, we did that, and move the stage to the lowest position. So the adjustment knobs, that's what's gonna move your stage up and down, closer or further away from those slides. So we'll either have the course objective, I'm sorry, the course adjustment, which is the large knob that really moves the slide, or the fine adjustment, which barely moves that slide at all. If we were in the classroom, I would tell you that you only use this uh, fine adjustment when you're on the, lar the longest lenses, the high power um, and low power. When we are using this large course adjustment. It's okay to use when we're on the scanning, the smallest lens, but these other lenses are too long and we could actually crack the slide. But let's just choose a slide. This has everything, everything we could use, even with our cheek cells, it has the cheek cells stained, cheek cells unstained, colored threads, so let's just choose one. It doesn't even matter. Let's choose, I don't know, let's just choose the pancreas. View my checklist. Oh yeah, I gotta move the stage to the lowest position. See how picky it is? So I move it to the lowest position. Now I can choose a slide. Pancreas. It says raise the slide using the course focus knob. I like to use my mouse and raise it until we're in close. And then I use the arrow keys on my keyboard to get pretty close. Once you can actually see your object, see the um, cross section or whatever we're looking at, then you can move to the fine adjustment and just move that until we're perfect. See that nice image? Now we're still on scanning. Now these microscopes are parfocal. That means we can move to different lenses without actually moving the stage and what we are looking at, our specimen or our slide should still stay relatively in focus. We may have to adjust the course adjustment or move the stage around a little bit to see what or to find what we're looking for. But moving from four times to 10 times should just zoom in. If it's a little blurry, we click on that fine adjustment and use the arrow keys and get just perfect. Look, you can begin to see those cells in the pancreas. Let's go ahead and move to 40 times the highest power on this microscope. It's a little blurry, so we'll use the fine adjustment and use our arrow key. And there we are. This is almost exactly what we would see in the classroom, just like this. Now in the classroom, we could move the binocular scopes. We could move the stage. These two knobs down here move the stage either left and right or up and down. But you can move around on your image. When it says center the slide, I've not had good luck getting that green check mark on there. But so far from what I've seen, it hasn't stopped me from moving to the next step. And so I could download that, that image and then save that file and then upload it into my lab. Let's just go through the controls really fast. Ocular lenses, that's what you'd be looking at. The arm is how you would carry the microscope. These objective lenses come in scanning low and high. You always start on the short lens, the scanning lens. 
You can use the focusing knobs or adjustment knobs, course and fine, to move that stage up and down. When you're on the low and high power, you never use coarse focus because you could break your lens, but you can use the fine focus knob. You can move that stage around. The stage has a clip which would hold your slide in place. And underneath, if we were in the classroom, these little knobs down here with the light could be adjusted to let more light in or less light in to make it brighter or darker especially if we were looking, that would be necessary, especially if we were looking at living specimens or clear specimens that were unstained. We can download it or choose a different slide, whatever we need to do. If we choose a different slide, we have to start back um, and move our course adjustment again, just like we would before. And we can choose the fine adjustment until we get just right. And then we can go through and we could change our objective lenses from scanning to low power, adjust the fine focus knob with our keyboard or with our mouse, and then go back and we can change to 40 times the high power, click on that fine adjustment again, and then move just a couple arrows on our keyboard. And now it's perfectly in focus. And so we can see that uh, it looks like cartilage. And so we could just download that, save that file, upload it into our lab. Let me know if there are any questions. Um, I was told that you can use this on a phone. It's a little frustrating when you first start using it on a computer until you get practice. So I can only imagine a phone would be a little more frustrating, but that's not to say that you can't use a phone. Um, the computer lab on campus at Mac, you may have to double check the dates, but it should be open soon. Um, but fingers crossed, um, our kits will come in soon and we won't be using the microscope quite as much. Send me an email if there are any questions or if something isn't working for you, but otherwise, um, I hope this helps.